Alex Jonesley, voice of the Power River Kings, and welcome to the week that was here at the Langley Event Center, sign of the gold medal game of the 2011 World Junior A Challenge, featuring Power River King players Evan Richardson and Sean McGuire, as well as head coach Kent Lewis. More on that game lately, it's in progress behind me. We'll get you up to speed towards the end of the show. First, we go back to the weekend as the Kings featured a double header against the Nanaimo Clippers at Hat Parker Arena. A big game on Friday night, over 1,100 in attendance, and they saw a fantastic Kings effort as they tried to get back into the win column at home. Kamola suckers in one way, then dumps it in for Scarth around the other way. Shig Kerrick takes it behind the net. Now far side corner looking for someone in the middle. Goes back down. Oh, it's in the score! Matt Scarth! A tip in front of the Kings! Three and a half minutes into this game, take an early one to nothing lead. So the uh, power play unit comes back out for the Kings. It's Schmidt Adair Schuler back in. It'll be Williams and Yatsi. Yatsi gets possession off the face off. Dishes to high slot. Williams shot through traffic. It's in! Scores! Chris Williams! First of the season. The captain's on the board. The Kings double their lead. It's two to nothing on a power play goal. 26 saves so far this evening for Jamie Phillips. Ned is empty for the Clippers. And James Neal with a chance to try and deke around his man. James Neal with a puck on his stick. Scores! James Neal's first BCHO goal. It's an empty net goal to make it 3 to nothing. So Chris Williams records his first goal of the season. And James Neal scores his first ever Junior A goal in a big 3 nothing victory over the Nanaimo Clippers. Jamie Phillips kicks aside 26 shots for his second shutout of the season. Now 24 hours later, the Kings and the Clippers going toe to toe again at the Hat Parker Arena. Kings off to a good start. Got the game's first goal. Kept in there by Smith as it's just trickling past the net. Cochran now, excuse me, Schuler behind. Schmidt is out there with Scarf. Still to the side of the net. Schuler deep his backhand scores! Daniel Schuler! Ninth goal of the season breaks the deadlock. Kings lead one to nothing. It's being labeled unassisted. And that came in a trickling puck, and it's in, they score! Clippers come back, it's tied at one. Bounce pass, a bounce off the backboards, excuse me. Came under the legs of Jamie Phillips, and I think it just got tipped in there by yep. maybe Andrew Gladia. Plus four at home, they've only allowed three power play goals at home all year. And that, uh, they killed 38 straight, I think. And that's in, they score! Clippers take the lead! Might be Gladiac again, his second of the game. 12th of the season. Clippers take the first lead of the weekend. It's 2-1. Fantastic tip from Clarkson. Better save from Phillips. Clarkson behind the net. Center pass out in front. Scores. Clippers lead 3-1. It's Trevor Fitzgerald on the doorstep. His 8th of the season. He's now in the corner trying to press that up against the boards. Wells pinches down. Keeps that in. Centering pass. Fitzgerald trying to find Kramer. Backdoor pass near. They score. Great play from the Clippers. From the point, Fitzgerald passed down, and the Clippers score its 4-1 on the back of a goal from number 14, Jesse Neer. Kramer at the point to Fitzgerald, and a great little backhand dish to Neer, and Neer just put it glove side on Jamie Phillips. And that's a 4-1 game right now, and Adair stepping off the half boards into the slot, scores! Kona there! Kings, not done yet! Adair's 12th of the season. It's a two-goal deficit, the score is 4-2. Unfortunately, that's as close as the Kings will get as the weekend sweep was not meant to be. The Clippers give the Kings their first loss at home this season in a 4-2 decision, ending a 10-game undefeated streak in which the Kings went 9-0-1. Now here in Langley is the other big piece of Kings news in the last set of seven. Sean McGuire and Evan Richardson on the ice and Kent Lewis and Jeff Batter behind the bench for Team Canada West playing in Sunday afternoon's gold medal game. Here are some of the sights, sounds, and highlights from that event, including Evan Richardson's game-opening goal.
John, you've had quite the night. You're a gold medalist. You're the top goaltender in the tournament. Just talk about how tonight's game went for you and the pressure uh, that was on this Canada West side. There was obviously a whole lot of pressure. Um, it's a mental aspect of the game, too. It's getting through that and not letting it all come down on you, and I think that that's, that's how we beat them tonight. There are a fair number of Power of the Kings jerseys in the crowd. I'm wondering if you saw them uh, throughout the tournament or tonight at all. Yeah, after the game, I saw a couple. Uh, it's nice to see them in the stands still supporting us uh, it's an honor just talk about how this whole experience has been this whole tournament playing this caliber hockey and, and your performance in it it was the best best time of my life I mean I never I've never played better I don't think um, I just I don't even know what to say it's just it's just so great right now just so happy Richie you're a gold medalist you scored the opening goal could the, could tonight have gone any better for you no it couldn't we wanted to get out to an early start get on him early and you know, we, tr we tried first period, it was pretty tight, but it opened up for the third, second and third. How different was tonight's game versus every other game you might have played in your entire career? There's so much more tight checking. I mean, everybody can skate out here, everybody can shoot, everybody can pass. It's kind of comes down to who wants it more. Talk us through that opening goal that uh, broke the deadlock in the second period. I just saw Kerf driving wide, and I just, you know, we've been trying to drive the net all, all weekend long, so I tried to do that, and it went in for us. Give us one good look at that gold medal around your neck there, Richie. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Well, that does it for another episode of The Week That Was. Thanks for watching. Next action for the Kings comes up Wednesday evening as they get a chance for revenge against the Nanaimo Clippers at Frank Crane Arena for the first time this season. Game time on Wednesday night is 7 o'clock, but you can catch all the action on 95.7 Sun FM beginning at 6.45 with the pregame show, the call at 7 o'clock. Same time the next night as the Kings travel down the island highway to Duncan to face the Cowichan Valley Capitals again at 7 o'clock. And then on Friday evening, it's back home on Hat Parker Ice as they face the Coquitlam Express at home for the first time this season, a 7.30 start. From the Langley Event Center here, site of the 2011 World Junior A Challenge, I'm Alex Ronsley. That was the week that was.